Hello, guys, gals, and other pals. So, I took a poll from you guys, and I wanted to see what kind of content you guys wanted me to make next. And you guys really showed out. I think there were like over 250 votes in total. And, you know, I, I talked about maybe doing one about what sex is like now versus what it was like as a boy. Um, and it's definitely changed. And I want to do an entire video on that. But since it didn't win, I apologize. That's a video for another day. Um, but the winner of that video was a hair regrowth video. And so... I'd like to talk about my experiences with hair regrowth. Um, it was very crippling to me uh, pre-transition because I had really heavily receded arches. Um, and, you know, I've, I've done a lot of research and basically I found like one, maybe two people that have had that, like actually regrow. And I didn't know if I, you know, have to be wearing wigs or... Um, you know, go through like crazy surgeries or treatments to regrow it. And it was just super discouraging. I was like, why not just be a bald boy or whatever and, and not stress on it, you know, but I swallowed my pride and I did everything I could to potentially alleviate this burden of mine. Um, so let's talk about first, uh, what causes hair loss? Um, so basically genetically men are prone to receding hairlines and balding it's very common um women tend to not get that and if they do it's not nearly as much and so why is that there is a dht in men that comes from testosterone and other things in their body um, that we naturally produced and it's simply having that in your body over time will just take a toll on you and it will cause your your hair to fall out and you know there's there's nothing really that you can do about it as a boy other than potentially block that and there are side effects to blocking that so first i want to talk about what my personal hair loss looked like and for me i only got it in my arches i had like a big v shape here um and it went pretty far back and you know it it hasn't fully gone away but it has gotten much better over time and i want to attach a few pictures you know somewhere in here of before and you know kind of somewhere in between and then after like what it looks like now and you know my my perspective on life has changed simply because of that like i can wear my hair up i can um go swimming without a lot of fears of like somebody being like oh like that hairline is awful it must be a dude you know because dysphoria is awful and it will take the best of you and so i want to talk about dht blockers so like i said there's a dht in you know natal males that tends to cause your hair to fall out and there are medications you can take that can suppress that and a lot of people know of one particular, it's called finasteride. Um, there are a lot of side effects with finasteride. There are people who have good experiences with it. I was not one of those people. <laughs> I started it, I believe three months into my transition. And by month six, um, I was clinically depressed. And that is a side effect of finasteride. It, it, I believe it suppresses a hormone in your body that is vital to just feeling good and feeling okay. And for me, I, I kind of just lost it. I was super sad. I cried all the time. I wanted to just not exist. And um, I will say though, my hair started coming back. <laughs> and, you know, three months into it, I was looking at my hair like, wow, like it's coming back. 
like that's amazing and and I I just I talked to my doctor and she was like like if you're if you're depressed you need to come off of it and so you know we looked into other options and I believe at like month 10 somewhere around there I started a new medication called uh, bicalutamide or bicalutamide depending on where you're from who you talk to um, I call it bicalutamide it's just what I've heard um, and it is a um, androgen receptor blocker so it kind of just coats the receptors that normally absorb your you know DHT androgens and stuff like that and so it doesn't necessarily just stop you from creating it it just doesn't let your body accept it um, and this is normally used as like a testosterone suppressor so you know a lot of people have, on here are probably familiar with uh, spironolactone um, the testosterone blocker that a lot of trans women use and I initially had to stop that as well because it was causing me to have like some um, like I don't know what you call it potassium issues I have a heart condition and it was causing me to have like panic attacks and, and heart palpitations and it was kind of freaking me out so none of that you know potassium sparing diuretic I had to come off of that and so my doctor talked to me about bicalutamide which is a um, androgen receptor blocker so it doesn't let testosterone go through my body my body will continue to produce it naturally but it will not accept it into my body um, and you know that has its own benefits it has you know better sex drive um, things like the hair um, it, it it does the same thing that finasteride does basically um, and so as I take this for months it starts to really show up on my hairline and I, I had no idea that it could really do that kind of thing um, so timeline of when you start seeing hair growth is usually somewhere between three to six months it can be you know farther it could be maybe even a year possibly but you know everybody's different everybody has different levels of like hair recession um, it just depends totally on you know the person and um, the types of medication that you choose for me it took three months with um, with uh, finasteride and it it wasn't for me so I stopped it and I don't think my hair stopped coming back I think that it just kind of didn't proceed um, it didn't go to the next stage I had a lot of little tiny blonde baby hairs all over like in my little arch area and um, they didn't fall out they just stayed like that and then later when I started um, Bicalutamon I added um, biotin you know like the over-the-counter hair nails and whatever uh, skin just supplemental pill um, I take I think 10,000 12,000 uh, micrograms a day and you know that's pretty pretty substantial dose but it's not anything that our bodies can't handle and it just kind of makes you grow healthier hair skin and nails and so you know I'm taking uh, bicalutamide I'm taking biotin and I also added minoxidil uh, for me that just went through like Rogaine um, I do the little foam I squirt it on and massage it in and then I did that for like a month just a month and then I, I showed my boyfriend I was like I was like baby look like I have hair like it's coming in and it kind of just blew me away because it's something that I was considering paying a lot of money to fix and um, that caused me a lot of stress on a daily basis you know what if my what if the wind blew my hair a certain way like people would notice you know whatever and like now like I, I can just rest easy because I know that it just takes time and it's something that is completely achievable so um, like I said I take finasteride or I take uh, bicalutamide I tried finasteride don't work um, for me anyway cause me depressed 
um, I take Viculudamad, I take Biotin, and then I also do the Minoxidil foam. You can get straight up Minoxidil or you can get like men's Rogaine, women's Rogaine. Personally for me, I use the men's because I feel like it's more potent. Uh, the women's was like lesser volume. So I was just like, whatever. Um, and it's, it's, it's done me really well. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of just ecstatic and, and, you know, super excited for the future of what my hairline will look like. And, you know, if I need to have surgery in the future to potentially lower my hairline, I have a big forehead, but I kind of like it. You know, it's, it's, it's in the like frame of like an attractive face. So I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like if you're considering, um, you know, not transitioning because of your hairline, that is not a good enough reason to not transition and to, to be happy and to live your life. Like, so what if you have to wear wigs? So what if you, um, you know, your hair isn't as thick or as pretty, um, whatever you may feel like when you become who you're meant to be, you'll feel good regardless. You know, it's, it's, it's a very special thing to get to be yourself. And for me, this helped me. And so if, if putting this information out there for other people can help, definitely look into it, try it, you know, try finasteride, try bicalutamide, try minoxidil, whatever you need to try, um, before stepping into the realm of surgery and, you know, scars and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, uh, on closing, I want to talk about a couple of things. So... I want to just absolutely thank everybody for the amount of subscribers. I am officially monetized and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living it up and I'm very happy that, um, I can potentially make a living off of YouTube, uh, if things continue going the way they're going. Um, I'm at 2,500 subscribers now. And when I posted my first video, it was just something for me. And as time goes on, these are still for me, but they're also for you guys, for everybody, um, because they're experiences that have helped me and that have made me into the person that I am. And I want other people to, um, have hope for things like that. Uh, so the next video, I, I think we're going to do the, the, the sex talk video. It may not be monetized, but that's okay. You know, I'll, I'll take one for the team. Um, you know, whatever I got to do. Uh, I'm also getting a laptop so I can edit things a little better, maybe even throw in some comedy occasionally, some funny little edits. Uh, but I just, I, I feel like I need this for my YouTube journey and just, you know, to have a better experience with editing and stuff. And another surprising thing is I only have four days left for my one month breast augmentation update. Um, as you can see, they look really good. They're, they're super comfortable. They do not hurt whatsoever. Um, for the last week or so, I kind of had like a burning sensation or a pain, uh, just in my right breast when I was like laying down, uh, it was causing me a lot of issues. And so I thought something was wrong, but I think it was just part of the healing process. So everything is good with that. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that video. That will be next. Um, anyway, Thank you guys for watching. Sorry this took so long to update. There's lots of editing involved. Um, you know, it, it just takes time. And I'm more than happy for anybody and everybody watching this video. So, thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.